you would be shocked at the number of times I have heard a Breaking Bad reference at my at my shop. Like people will come in and be like, so do you sell soap or do you sell soap? Wink, wink. And I, I've never even actually seen that show. So I looked it up and uh, this is not a Breaking Bad situation. And you know, while that story might be funny, there is also a reason why I'm telling you that story. And that is because we are making bath salts today. Real bath salts, not, no. But before I get into how we make bath salts, hello, I'm Mrs. Open Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are here for day 135 of 365 days of soap. And yeah, that means we've been at it for 135 days, which is crazy. And uh, today, again, we are making bath salts. Now, bath salts, you know, the things that you put into your tub and not, I don't, I don't even know what you do with, whatever. Okay, so bath salts, right? The things that you put in your tub uh, they're really fun. I really love bath salts. It's kind of like a nod to kind of old school bathing, right? Before bath bombs became very trendy and you know, whatever, where you have a version of like Epsom salts and Dead Sea salts and stuff like that. And you put it in your tub and they're great for relaxation and really, you know, helping out with muscle tension and extra water retention in your body. Delightful. Bath salts are just delightful across the board. And my version of bath salts also contains essential oils as well as some moisturizing oils. And we will get into why I use moisturizing oils and the things that I do put into my bath salts in the video. So let's go uh, watch Georgia May make them. Okay, so bath salts start out with, you know, salt. We've got, you know, salt. It's Epsom salts, Dead Sea salts. Yeah. Uh, six cups of those guys go into this recipe and then we put the essential oils in. Now this is lavender and we are doing uh, two tablespoons of lavender and then we need a carrier oil for this, right? Because salts, they're, they're not great with essential oils and the actual mixing of the things and so we are putting in grapeseed oil for this, three tablespoons of that and that is a delightfully lightweight carrier oil. So it's going to be very good to uh, incorporate into the your bathtub routine because it's very, very lightweight. It's high in antioxidants and you know, you get some extra moisture with all of it without being at all sticky or it leaving a weird film on you know your skin, obviously, but also your tub because both suck, right? Like, yeah, no. So lightweight carrier oil is really great to incorporate into bath salts. Now, we're going to really take our time and make sure everything is really well incorporated into the, uh, the salts there because we want to make sure that everything is, um, that the essential oil is really well mixed with the carrier as well as the, um, you know, into the salts. But with that, you could also to, you know, quadruple ensure that everything is well incorporated. You could actually put the essential oil blend directly into the grape seed and warm it up a little bit and then put the whole thing in together and that's, you know, just to hedge your bets. It's a great idea. Now we are using liquid colorants for this. These are 
I don't actually, I think these are the lab colors from Brambleberry. I, oh, you're getting tired. I know it's heavy. It's very, very heavy. There's, there's a lot going on here. It's a lot of mixing. So poor Georgia shaking out her wrist. Like, oh gosh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I, I get it for sure. And, uh, anyway, the colors, I'm pretty sure these are lab colors from Brambleberry. I, we almost never use liquid colors, but we still like have some from, I don't, I mean, we might just have these because of the, the bath salts now that I think about it. So yeah, we are going to just add the uh, liquid colorants just a little bit at a time until the correct color of purple is achieved. And George May being the perfectionist that she is, she's going to keep working at it until she she gets the color that she likes, which is delightful. Well done, my dear, I, I appreciate you. And again, mix all of that in really well to get everything really well mixed through the salt mixture there and see how wet it is it's a very wet product right now and that's actually a good thing like when you're making bath salts you don't just don't just take your your epsom salts and your dead sea salts and you know throw some essential oils in it and call it good. That's not, it's not great. That's not how salt works. It's also not how essential oils work. So you gotta, you have to be careful with, with that because you don't want like pockets of essential oils just like kind of hanging around your tub. So, you know, do it right. And to the baking soda that just went in, we put in one cup of the baking soda. That's a dual whammy thing. One, it helps dry out this, this batch so you don't have clumpy bath salts when it's all said and done, so that's awesome. But, two, with the, uh, the other cup there, you see, that's citric acid. So, what do baking soda and citric acid do together? Well, they make a bath bomb. They fizz when they hit the water. So you put those in there, and it also helps, you know, break apart the salts and creates a nice, cool, fizzy, you know, reaction when you put the, uh, the bath salts into the water as well so you know we, yay do that because that's awesome and it also helps break everything down and you know incorporate into the water better and so yeah that's a, a good addition for that the, the biggest reason that we put baking soda in this originally was again to help cut down on the moisture within the, the bath salts themselves so they would not be clumpy and weird when we were trying to package them and do the thing but then we realized, hey, well, since we're putting in baking soda, why not also put in citric acid? And then that, again, that helps everything break down and dissolve into the tub. And it's a nice, fun experience. So that's why we do the thing. Now, once this has all been really well mixed in, we're then going to take it and we're going to turn it out on a sheet or the counter that has, of course, been, you know, sterilized and all that jazz so it can dry overnight and yep that looks like a really good consistency we don't see any big clumps of the baking soda or anything in there everything is really well incorporated and we are just going to turn it out on the counter and have a nice thin layer we're gonna spread it out so we have a nice thin layer of uh, bath salts that can dry overnight which is really important since you're putting in the extra the extra oils, right? You need to you want to make sure that everything is really dry before you put it into your containers. We like have big glass jars of all of the different bath salts in the shop, but then also we package them up into um, glassine bags for the you know the the Harry Potter you know stuff, the bath salts. Uh, yeah. So, but if you don't let the, them dry, it's all gonna Come, it's all going to end up being just one big giant clump inside your your bag or your container or whatever and so that's not fun so we just set it out on the counter overnight to fully dry up you can also put it in the oven I have had less success with that than doing it this way so as long as you have tons of counter space so these can all um, you know dry out do the thing and oh yeah Georgia May is gonna be awesome with all of this yeah she's she has to do her her artistry now and yeah, I, I love this this is great <laughs> yep so that said soap just in case and there's and right yes 
she does this for every single batch of uh, of bath salts that she does and I love it so I come in and there's like a heart or something in all of the you know bath salts that she made for the day and it just it makes me smile when I come in so I thought I should definitely keep this in the video because look at that she's she's all fancy and awesome there's soap and clay oh so awesome now these are gonna dry overnight and then we are going to do a test and look at that it's made with love Oh, good job. You did it. Now, just a super quick test with all of the scraps because I don't ever actually get, you know, the full version. So, the cool thing about this is, again, it fizzes out really quickly. Everything dissolves really nicely and it's a very lightweight moisturizing oil that is left behind. So, you're getting your awesome skin moisturization without feeling greasy and terrible afterwards. And that's going to be the most important thing aside from the detox and all the awesomeness that comes with the uh you know the dead sea salts and the epsom salt yes so bath salts they should be moisturizing and relaxing as well as you know skin soothing and helping out with the inflammation and all the aches and pains too and again such a lightweight moisturizing oil it's absolutely delightful this is one of my favorite products to use for all bathtub fun and there you have it, the lavender bath salts. Now, I have these in six different varieties and I actually keep them stocked in my Harry Potter line, which is, I guess, a bit confusing, but I wanted to add something else to the Harry Potter line and so that's where the bath salts ended up going. So if you are interested in you know, purchasing any of the bath salts, you can totally find them at soapandclay.com. Now, again, with bath salt creation, uh, we have the Epsom salts, we have the Dead Sea salts, and then we also put in, again, the essential oils as well as the moisturizing oils. The biggest reason for the moisturizing oils obviously is going to be we want to deliver some awesome moisture to your skin, but most importantly, that essential oil needs a carrier. Otherwise, you're just going to sort of have pockets of your essential oil kind of floating around in your tub, and that is not great. So, you know, biggest pro tip with all of that is don't just randomly put essential oils into your salt. Salt is not a good, no, just, just don't. Mix it, carry your oils, they're cool. Uh, anyway, if you would like to follow me on social media, I'm there, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you're interested in more Soapy Fun, subscribe to the channel. We are doing this every day, and that's awesome. So yeah, subscribe, stick around, come back tomorrow where I'm making something else. I really have no idea what that something is, but we'll all find out tomorrow. And again, thank you so much for joining me for another round of 365 days of soap, and I will see you tomorrow. I said tomorrow a lot in this one. Bye.